Hey guys, Ashen1 here, and welcome to this Demon Souls video on early infinite health regeneration. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Okay, nobody die. The first thing I want to say about this guide is that we are going to achieve everything I'm about to list in stage 1 and 2 without leveling up even once. Okay, so in stage 1 of this guide I'm going to show you how to get some easy to find items that regenerate your HP infinitely without fighting any bosses except for the very first boss to open up the worlds. These items are a blessed mace plus one, the adjudicator's shield, and the regenerator's ring. All of these items restore your HP and the regen stacks by having them all equipped. In stage 2, I'm going to show you how to get the regeneration miracle on top of the HP regen items listed above after we easily beat the Adjudicator. By this point you will be regenerating HP quickly and early. And once again, all these HP regen effects are stacking on top of each other. But we won't stop there though. I am then going to touch on things to do as you play through the game. We are going to look at leveling up the HP regen weapons to see the extra health restoration comparison. And look at getting some consumables which also regenerate HP on top. Right. Let's start by creating our character. Choose Temple Knight as your starting class as it has a solid amount of strength and faith which are two stats perfect for the items we need to get. First, we run 1-1 one, one, and we get the Phalanx Beat so we can open up the worlds. I would also advise picking up the Archstone Shards as well. As soon as you have access to the worlds, come straight to World 5-1. Yep, that's right, straight to World 5. Follow the path I take here and if you saw my latest video on level skips, you will notice that we are going to use the slope skip glitch to skip most of this level and get straight to the blessed mace plus one. Simply get to here and then roll off here, get to the save and exit button in the menu whilst you're falling and hit it as soon as you hear your character make a death noise. When you reload you should be down here. This can take a few tries to get right. When you do load up down here past most of the level, run. Avoid the enemies and roll behind this poison tick to get the blessed mace plus one. You can just kill yourself or use an archstone shard to warp back to the nexus. Blessed weapons will scale magic damage with your faith stat, but they also regenerate your HP. Choosing a blessed weapon upgrade path will require faint stones, and here you can see a list of all the items that can be blessed. Next, we want to go to world 4-1. Now, the skeletons can be tough, especially if you haven't been leveling up, but they are weak against blunt damage, and we have just picked up a HP regenerating blunt weapon. So, we now have a pretty easy time taking down these skellies. Simply come through the fog gate, past the vanguard, up here and get the adjudicator shield. This is our second piece of HP regen gear already. Next, we utilize the wall skip back near the beginning of the level and voila, we have the regenerator's ring. So we have equipped, already after only beating the phalanx and a few skellies, three HP regen items and they are all stacking. And that's it for stage one of the guide. So from our wall skip and our three lovely HP regenerating items, let's go kill the adjudicator and take this HP regen up a level. Switch back to the halberd we started with as it will do more damage to the boss, especially when buffed with a pine resin. And just follow this easy tactic to kill the adjudicator. Come down, lock onto this broken sword piece in its gut, get two to three hits in and when you hear the squawk or telegraph, just run to his left. His big swipe will go over your head. Then run back to the sword piece and repeat until he falls over. When he falls over, lock onto the head and just melt away. Repeat this until he is dead, very easy. And do not spend the swollen demon soul, we need this. With the adjudicator out of the way, we have access to world 4-2 and Saint Urbane, who sells us the regeneration miracle. Run straight to Patches' trap, down here you will need to kill the black phantom, probably the only real challenge of this guide. But with the halberd with the pine resin on it, we will be able to keep him at bay, and the blessed mace is fast enough just to get the drop on him. Either way, he will always get stun locked. Open the door, we want to head straight back to the nexus now, so either kill yourself or use the archstone shard. Back at the Nexus, Saint Urbane can now give us the Regeneration Miracle in exchange for the Swollen Demon Soul, which we just got from the Adjudicator. So, let's take stock of what we have already. The Blessed Mace plus one, 
the Adjudicator Shield, the Regenerator's Ring, and the Regeneration Miracle. All of this HP regen is going to stack. And here we are, with our infinite HP regeneration. Brilliant. But, what's that I hear you say? You are more. <laughs> okay, well, the Blessed Mace and the Adjudicator Shield can be leveled up to a max of plus five. And yes, the higher the level, the more HP they regenerate. You will need Colorless Demon Souls to level up the Adjudicator Shield, plus five. I will be making a video on these shortly. And you will need Faintstone Shards, Chunks, and a Pure Faintstone to level up your Blessed Weapon to plus five. Faintstones are farmed throughout World 5, and if you have at least 20 points in your Faith stat, you can get a Pure Faintstone by talking to this NPC here in the Nexus for free. A shout out to Ali and Omar from my Discord community for giving me the plus five versions of these weapons for my video. And even more HP regen for you in the form of a consumable. As you progress through the game and get to the Dirty Village in World 5 too, the filthy woman here will sell grass jellies. These are consumables that will regenerate your HP for 30 seconds. So here we are guys, regenerating our HP infinitely and we've barely touched the game and haven't even touched leveling up once. So. Let me know how you found this guide, let me know what you do to stay alive. Leave me some comments and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.